Hey guys, thanks for joining me here on Product Perspective, where we talk a lot about tech, we do unboxings, vloggings, and other cool videos like that on this channel. So make sure you guys subscribe, like, and give this video a comment. Today we're going to be talking about iPhone, Apple iPhone, and their new iOS 13, which is in beta right now with beta 3 for the public. That's what I have right now installed on this phone is the beta 3. I'm going to be going through as many things as I could find that I thought was bigger than other things and I'll just be kind of sticking out maybe, I don't know, maybe five to eight different things that I saw on this update that's really cool and you guys, when it comes out to the public, no beta, actually just straight to the public can go, oh wow, this is what Oliver said because that's my name, my name's Oliver Covey, Covey, C-O-V-E-Y, not Covey, a lot of people say that. Anyways, let's jump to this. So. The big thing with the iPhone is, the new iPhone X of course, is the face recognition or the face scanning that unlocks your phone, so Face ID. Now that was pretty fast, I mean you would just, you would tap it, it would open just like that, I mean super fast. But now it's 30% faster, which is insane and I can actually tell the difference. Now so you go right here, we're going to tap and bop. I mean, super fast. It is insane how fast Face ID is now. So 30% faster, which is about a third faster than what it was before. Kind of gives you more reference, 30%, you know. Anyway, so when you get it, try that and see, oh wow, this is faster, it's easier. Um, it recognizes your face from different angles. Actually, Apple just put out a, uh, I guess we call it ad that they had where this guy, he's like in a reclining chair and he gets up, just opens one eye and it unlocks. That's how good it is. I mean, you can do it at an angle like this and it will just unlock. You can have it at this type of angle. I mean, it's insane what angles or I'll be having big like a mask on and earphones and it will work every time. It's insane. Okay, now moving on. The next biggest thing for me is dark mode. Dark mode, I think, is the coolest thing that iPhone has done. Now, a lot of other things have already done this. A lot of Android phones, um, Google, Google Chrome, so just their actual app. It has dark mode. Um, the Max had dark mode before iPhones, and I just really like dark mode. Dark mode is just so cool. It's dark. Um, there is one negative with dark mode, since it makes all Apple apps dark, at least all the ones that they want it to be dark. And one of them is Apple Maps, which I don't really use Apple Maps. I more use Google Maps. Apple Maps is now dark. And I don't know if you can tell, but it is hard to see. It's a hard thing to see when you're traveling and you want to see road names, you want to see where you are. It's just hard to see and you can't shut that off. Maybe when it comes out to the public actually as an update, they may have that in the settings, but right now since it's in beta, it doesn't have that. That would be the one negative for dark mode. I mean, dark mode in text, dark mode in photos, dark mode in notes, dark mode in settings, and a whole bunch of other apps that Apple has. Um, that's dark mode, and I really, really like that. The next thing is Swipe. Swipe is an incredible thing that there's another app that's called Swipe you can add to your Apple keyboard, but it always had glitches and problems. Android did this a while ago where they built it into their actual keyboard, Swipe. I use Swipe quite often now. It's super nice, it's fast, it's slowly getting better with the beta updates as I could tell from the first one. It's definitely added up and it's definitely faster. So as it progresses, it will get better and better. But I really like that option since I really like swipe. Next would probably be photos. Photos, as you can see, sorts. They sort all the different things. So you have years, you either have places. So you can do different places folders, like this is from you know Rogers or whatever. Or you can have dates, so you can have months. So it would be, you know, March, and then it'd be January or whatever, all the different months. And then you can tap and you can switch to days, months, or years. Those are the three folders that they have. So 2017, 18, 19. And they kind of show your top photo on the cover of that. I really like the sorting of this and even just the looks. It's kind of a cool, kind of nice, smooth look. And you can tap on each year, each month, and it just gets really easy to use. Um, also for like airdrop and sharing, it's very different now, it's a different look, a kind of smoother, nicer look I would say. 
um, and that kind of adds to that photos. Um, I'm trying to think, okay, so in camera here, we have the portrait mode, of course, and portrait mode has, when you're on selfie, it has all the different lightings, and you can do like black and white, and white and black, but now you can do a real bright mode that makes the background super bright, um, and super just really bright and drawn out, but it's a really nice look, and they have two different ones added on there. Okay, moving on to the photo editing. This is a really big thing that I have been looking forward to. You have tons of editing. I mean, it's insane the amount of editing you have here. I mean, you just can go through all of the different editings, tap on them, you know, adjust it back and forth. You can do different crops, you can do different tilts. I mean, it's insane. It's like editing on a computer software. It's insane how much editing. You can do different sizes, so you can pick squares, you can do all the different stuff on editing. You can do different like drawn out lines. Um, they also have this eye thing, which is called red eye. And if you have a photo and you took flash, and you know the person's eye every now and then would turn red, well you can tap on that red eye and it will take out that red eye. And it'll just make it look like a nicer picture than both of the eyes being red in that flash. Kind of another cool thing they added. So editing is a big part there. Also in the camera, when you go to delete stuff, all of that's kind of switched up. They move the buttons around. Um, uh, we also have shortcuts here, which is where you can add to Siri. You can add, you know, weather and you can say open weather and it will open it smoother and easier on Siri. Also, you can add, you know, Chrome and all these other shortcuts. It just makes it smoother on Siri. You also have Find My, which is a place where you can find all your different friends. So it's, it's almost like um, Find My iPhone, you know, where they have the app and you can see where your iPhone was from a different person's phone. But now you can see where different people actually are. So you would send a text to that person. They would say, okay, I confirm it. And, you know, say you're on a ski trip, you can see where all your friends are on the mountain and you would have to set that up, of course, with each person. You can set it up for like a day, an hour, how long that sharing is for. There's a whole bunch of other really small things. Another one is the sound right here. So the sound, when you turn it up and down, instead of that big block in the middle, you have it come up on the side. You can tap that and you can adjust it up and down, which just makes it a lot easier for a real quick muting or turning it up real loud, or just adjusting it other than clicking, 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 clicking. It's just a lot faster and smoother, nicer looking. Well, I think that's it. There's a whole bunch of other little ones that really you can find, or you can go find other ones. I don't have enough time to go through every single thing. Apple did a lot on this update, and I absolutely love the update. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you check out my other videos, and I'll see you guys back in another video.